Hello everyone, today I am going to teach you how we can create React Native module and we will also see how we can send and receive data with native code. Basically, I am going to fetch some device information into our native code and we will access those variables into our React Native code. So let's start. This is React Native Scratch project. Open this Android folder into Android Studio and this is the Kotlin folder inside this. Uh, we have Kotlin files like main activity and main application and then create one folder here my device folder and inside this folder we will create Kotlin class and the Kotlin class uh, would be my device info module ok and similarly we will create one more Kotlin class my device info package ok So firstly I'll work on package class okay so here uh, we will take one variable uh, react application context and react context base java module and then import uh, these both okay and uh, and after this uh, we will have to import a get name uh, we will have to impl implement one method that is get name ok and then return this class my device info package here and after this we will uh, create our method and then uh, here you need to write react method and then import this and this is the function name get device info and uh, here we are passing message and uh, we are using this callback to send back the data to the react native ok so just import this both and inside this function uh, we are fetching some device informations like version platforms manufacturer model and all ok and uh, after this we are using json object to store all the values into key and value pair and we are passing this json object uh, variable device info uh, into our callback so we will get this all data into the react native and we will display all the data over the ui okay now i am going to work on this my device info module ok so just inherit this with react package and then implement two methods uh, create native modules and create view managers and then change this mutable list to list after this we will take one variable val modules and uh, inside this we will use array list and then pass native modules and here we will have to pass our module name so just write module modules dot add and then pass your sorry uh, here you need to pass your package name okay and then pass this context and then return this module okay my device info package name which we have recently created and then return this modules and then after this uh, in into our second method we will have to return this collection dot empty list and then import this collections with java utils collections ok so our module class is also completed Now I am going to register this uh, module into our main application dot kt file. So just write add and then write your module name here. So our module name is my device info module. 
so our native code is completed now i am going to call the get device info method from our react native code okay this get device info method okay we will call this method from react native so for this we will have to import one module native modules from react native react native provide this uh, so with the help of this native modules uh, we will call that react uh, we will call that package which we have recently created and after this we will take one state to store the data okay so device info set device info i have created one state here and after this i am going to create one function that will execute to get the data so i have created one fetch device info method here and then i am using native modules dot and then after dot we will call the uh, class name okay package class name so the package class name is my device info package and after this i am going to call this uh, method okay get device info so uh, this is the class name and after this we will have to call this get device info method so this is the method name and after this and into this method we will have to pass the message and call back okay so a message we will pass and with the help of this callback we will get this all data into our react native code and uh, i am also adding this message so we will get this message also into return okay so here you can see this is the message and in the second parameter we are getting the data with the help of callback and we are passing this uh, uh, device info data into this state device info set device info okay so with the help of device info we will uh, get all the data okay so now i am going to use this uh, use effect to execute this function when the application will load okay so just call this function here and and now uh, i am going to show all the data like platform sdk version manufacturer model which we are getting from our native code okay so our code is also completed uh, into our react native side now i am going to display this over the application so just uh, so these are the parameters uh, we will get from our react uh, from this uh, native modules okay so here you can see now i'm going to run this application okay so just run just uh, write npx react native run android and then you can see uh, our application is executing now here so here uh, we have an error now i'm going to fix this uh, firstly i am going to close everything and again i am going to run this application yes everything is fine now i am going to run this application again i don't think any error is there now okay so run this again so here you can see a uh, platform sdk version message all are displaying now i'm going to change the message and checking whether it is working or not so so i'm checking this message as hey how are you and in the application side you can see this message has changed